Dr. Max Gomez joins us now to explain what would compel anyone to hoard animals in such mm. disgusting conditions. Is it really a type of person, like an MO, that fits this type of case? Well, you know, they all obviously hoard animals to a greater or lesser extent, but they actually start out with different motivations, if you will. One is the overwhelmed caregiver, who starts out providing adequate care for the animals they're attached to, but gradually lose control of the situation. And there's the rescuer, who has a compulsion to rescue animals from possible death or euthanasia. They believe they're the only ones who can adequately, adequately care for them. And finally, there's the exploiter who acquires animals for his or her own needs and is indifferent to the harm they may be causing them. You look at this, you would figure mental health has got to play a role in a case like this. I, clearly, there's some sort of mental health issues going on in here. And in fact, the official diagnostic manual of the American Psychiatric Association now lists hoarding as a mental disorder and mentions animal hoarding as a type of hoarding. It seems that animal hoarders have some elements of different different mental conditions such as addiction, obsessive compulsive disorder, and something called focal delusional disorder where the hoarder is out of touch with reality. They have different elements of these personality types. They're not exactly the same as all of them, but they all end up being manifested as hoarding animals and sometimes along with elderly adults or children in this case. Wow, and then potentially criminal charges. We'll see yeah. how it plays out. Thank, Thank you, Dr. Max.